In today's episode of Rick Bull's Reviews, we'll be looking at Han Solo from the 1977 Kenner toy line. Solo, the coolest nerf herder in the galaxy. A lovable scoundrel who, with his co-pilot Chewbacca, make a very iconic duo. The figure I have here is a later production model, as noted by the larger head. Earlier models had a smaller head, but Kenner decided to change the mold, and thus he was given a big head to go with his big ego. Han is one of the few figures to have a bent arm. This gives him more of an action pose. This figure has full movement range of its arms and legs and head, which helps to fit him into the cockpit of the Falcon. This figure comes with a blaster so you can shoot your favorite enemies first. On the back of the figure's left leg are the date of 1977 and the mark of Made in Hong Kong. Han Solo was packaged with the Star Wars card, the Empire Strikes Back card, and the Return of the Jedi cards. Though the earlier release figure with the smaller head was packaged with the Star Wars card and Empire card as retailers sent them back to be repackaged on the Empire cards. Han Solo is one of my favorite characters. I made a life-size Han in Carbonite just because he's so cool. I have several versions of Solo figures and this one is his iconic look. The blue pants with the Krillin stripe, black vest and white shirt. This figure with the neat action pose arm is well worth having in your collection. Now I want to try something new for this video. Um, my mother-in-law gave me this idea to do a star award for the figures, so I'm going to do just that. For the previous videos of R2 and C3PO, I'll write it in the description. The things I'll be looking at for each figure are screen accuracy, flexibility, and accessories. For the 1977 Han Solo, he scores screen accuracy 2 out of 5. It doesn't look like Harrison Ford. The clothes are correct, except the red stripe. It should be dashed, not solid. The weapon is pretty close to the ones uh, Solo used in the films. And the colors are correct. Flexibility. 4 out of 5. It has good movable parts and is easy to pose, though it would be cool if it had more bendable joints. Accessories 1. This figure comes with uh, Han Solo's blaster, and that's all that's required. This 1977 Han Solo has a star award of 7. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in, and be sure to check out next week's Rick Bowles Reviews, where we look at Chewbacca.